The ECC is a policy-making and quasi-judicial entity that implements the Employees Compensation Program, created in 1975 under PD 626 as amended. It is a government corporation attached to the Department of Labor and Employment for Policy and Program Coordination. The chairman of the board is the secretary of the Department of Labor and Employment, with members composed of heads of GSIS, SSS, PhilHealth, Employees Compensation Commission, Civil Service Commission, and representatives from the employers and employees sector. The head of the Occupational Safety and Health Center sits as a non-voting member of the board since OSHC was established in the ECC in 1987 to effectively implement health and safety programs to improve the quality of work life of Filipinos. The ECC is mandated to formulate policies and guidelines for the effective implementation of the Employees' Compensation Program, to review and decide EC appealed cases and to initiate policies and programs on occupational safety and health and accident prevention and rehabilitation of occupationally disabled workers. The Employees' Compensation Program provides a package of benefits for public and private sector workers and their dependents in the event of work-connected contingencies. The ECC is tasked to initiate, rationalize and coordinate the policies of the Employees' Compensation Program. It also decides appealed cases, which are denied by SSS and GSIS. Furthermore, the SSS and GSIS are tasked to implement the employee's compensation program through the settlement of EC claims and to administer the state insurance fund. The state insurance fund pays for EC claims. Private sector employers contribute 10 to 30 pesos per employee per month to the SIF. Employees do not contribute to the fund. The EC benefits include loss of income benefit, medical services, appliances and supplies. Carer's Allowance, Rehabilitation Services, Death Benefits and Funeral Benefits. Loss of Income Benefits are for Temporary Total Disability, Permanent Total Disability, and Permanent Partial Disability. A daily income up to 200 pesos for TTD is given for disability not exceeding 120 days. It is paid from first day of disability and may go beyond 120 days but not to exceed 240 days. The monthly income for permanent total disability is computed based on the monthly salary credit registered by the employee at the SSS. It shall in no case be less than 250 pesos. Examples of PTD are, complete loss of sight of both eyes, loss of two limbs or permanent complete paralysis of two limbs, and, brain injury resulting to imbecility or insanity. Permanent partial disability is the loss of the use of body part including function loss. The monthly income benefit for PPD is based on the average monthly salary credit. The monthly income benefit for PPD is paid for the number of months ranging from 3 to 50 depending on the ECC schedule of disability. Example, loss of one arm equals 50 months. Medical benefits include ward services for hospital confinement medical attendance by accredited doctor, surgical expense benefit, and reimbursement of cost of medicines. A 575 pesos per month carer's allowance is provided to ODWs who are permanently and totally disabled as a supplemental benefit. ECC provides rehabilitation appliances like leg, or, arm prosthesis, wheelchair, hearing aid, etc. ECC also provides skills training or upgrading and training for entrepreneurship through the Kagabai program, a 2,500 pesos transportation and meal allowance per month per person is provided to defray their meals and transportation expenses to and from training centers or hospitals. Death benefits comprise of monthly survivorship pension to the spouse plus 10% for each dependent child not exceeding 5, and, funeral benefit of 20,000 pesos. This was increased from the previous 10,000 pesos through Executive Order 167 dated May 2014. The President, through Executive Order No. 167, also approved a 10% across-the-board increase in EC pension. The EC program covers contingencies occurring when going to and coming from work. And finally, EC benefits are provided over and above the benefits provided by the SSS or the double recovery of benefits applies to EC and SSS claims. 
What is Employees' Compensation Program? It is a program designed to provide benefits to workers in the event of work-connected sickness, injury or death. Who are covered under the program? They are the private sector workers and Qasim Baha'i, who are compulsory members of the social security system, and sea-based overseas Filipino workers. Likewise, government employees who are members of the GSIS, AFP and PNP, elective officials and all casual, emergency, temporary and substitute or contractual employees. When shell coverage of the employees? Under the Employees Compensation Program start. Employees shall be covered starting on the first day of their employment. When is sickness or injury compensable under the Employees Compensation Program? The sickness must be the result of an occupational disease listed under Annex A of the amended rules on employees' compensation with the conditions set therein satisfied. Otherwise, proof must be shown that the risk of contracting the disease is increased by the working conditions. For the injury and the resulting disability or death to be compensable, the injury must be the result of accident arising out of, and in the course of the employment, 